And we are, of course, disappointed with today's decision. But I suspect that this sanction of further incarceration will be exactly as coercive as the previous sanction, which is to say not at all. Grand juries and prosecutions like this one function to undermine the system of American government according to the American government's own laws. This administration is also obsessed with unwinding Obama's legacy from health care to Chelsea's commutation. It is up to the press to stand up for themselves, to stand up for the practice of journalism, and to stand up for Chelsea in the way that she has consistently stood up for them. As was stated in open court, Chelsea Manning has been lawfully subpoenaed to testify in an investigation. She's also been given immunity to protect herself from self-incrimination, meaning she can speak freely. The only thing that is being asked of her is to come answer questions truthfully. As someone who received the incredible gift of a commutation, was literally given 28 years of her life back, she now refuses to simply answer questions as part of our constitutional criminal justice process. I'd also like to state, as her lawyers have repeated at nauseum, we have bent over backwards to accommodate Ms. Manning's medical needs, postponed her return to court today so she could have additional time for an appointment, and never once made this about anything other than obtaining immunized testimony in furtherance of an investigation. No one wants Ms. Manning out of contempt proceedings more than me. All we want is for her to truthfully answer questions as our constitutional republic requires of our citizens.